We are now in our um, new series for the month of August called Change Status. Everybody say, Change Status. And uh, last month, pinag-usapan po natin is about challenge accepted. And uh, after all the challenges that we've been through, after sa mga trials and persecutions at mga bagay na nangyari sa buhay natin, dapat mga kapatid, every day we are changing because of God's glory. Na dapat araw-araw po, habang po tayo ay nakaka-encounter sa Panginoon, habang po tayo ay nag-worship, ay dapat po merong pagbabagong nangyayari sa atin. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, mukhang nagbabago ka naman. Tingin ko lang. So ngayon po umaga na to, we will going to discuss uh, and uh, simula po ito ng ating pag-uusapan about change status. And let's talk about this morning today. Let's talk about today the topic, different. Everybody say, different. Pakitingnan ng katabi, pakisabi sa kanya, you look different. Let's ha, let's play a simple guessing game. Can we? Pwede po ba tayo mag Pwede po bang mag uh, maglaro lang tayo sandali before I'm going to go to the main point of the preaching today about different. Okay. Magpapakita po ako sa inyo ng picture. Pwede po bang pakihulaan niyo lang po, mga kapatid, kung ano ang pangalan nito? Kung ano po ang pangalan ng artistang ito o famous celebrity? Can you do that? Na kung kayo po hindi pa nabubuhay nung panahon na to, eh okay lang naman, walang problema. Pero hulaan lang po natin. Uh, sa palagay niyo po, uh, sino po ito? Alright. So do, uh, yung mga matatanda na, Kuya Bobby, alam ko, alam niyo to. Eh, no? Something like that. No? Me- special mention. No? Okay. Ang pangalan po niya ay si Val Kilmer. If you... Alright, so you're familiar with the face. No? Look, at, look, at, look at him now. He looks very different. How about this guy? How about this girl? Anybody recognizes this girl? Probably not, no? Ang pangalan po niyan, kilala niyo po yan, yan po si Kim Kardashian. Alright, nakita niyo po yung kaibaan, ano? No? Natitignan niyo po, nagbago yung muka. No? Yung katabi niyo po, ang nagbago lang, waistline. Pero yung muka, ganun pa rin eh. Alright, okay. How about this girl? Okay, very good. Ang pangalan po yan ay si Kim Chu. Ah, very good, yan. Yeah. Ayan, nakakainti na tayo. How about this guy? Very good, si Vice Ganda. Alright, very good. Nakita niyo po yung difference, no? Natawa yung iba. Okay. Anyway, how about, uh, how about, how about this, this man? How about this, I'm sorry, about this man? May, may nakakaalala. Ang pangalan po nito ay si Xander Ford. <laughs> If you still remember, di ba? Very controversial po ito. Bakit? Pag tininan niyo po ito, It, ang totoong mukha po talaga ni Sander Ford ay yung nasa left nyo. Okay? But because of cosmetic surgery and so a lot of surgery, ito na po yung mukha niya at ang laki po talaga ng pinagbago. No? Mga kapatid, at mar- nabash po sa sa internet, yung po mga pinakita ko sa inyo mga picture, mga dati nilang picture nung sila'y bata pa, as they mature, nagbago yung mukha nila. Pero ito talaga, mga kapatid, intentionally, binago niya talaga ang kanyang muka kahil dahil for him, mga kapatid, he felt ugly. No? Binabash po siya, binubuli po siya, at sinasabi po parang tsaka-tsaka yung muka niya. Mga kapatid, yun po ang dating. That's why he intentionally changed his face to look different. The problem is nung inintentionan po niyan to look different, people are seeing him not kundi not as a real person kundi isang taong cosmetically cosmetically mga kapatid altered now i want you to understand ladies and gentlemen ang buhay po nagbabago ang lahat ng tao nagbabago just lang talaga ang hindi nagbabago sa iyo at sa akin alam niyo kahit mga kapatid ang mga ang, ang kahit ang mga pinag-aralan natin nung araw at hanggang sa ngayon nagbabago pati nga mga chemical formula ngayon nagbabago dati sa chemistry ito lang daw po ang chemical table ano yung chemical compounds no nagbabago halimbawa mga kapatid no yung water ang formula po niya na H2O pero ang forever po ay di totoo you know something like that so dinagdag po nila ngayon yan sa uh, dinagdag po nila <laughs> dinagdag po nila ngayon sa chemical element okay Now, why, what am I trying to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that everything changes. And tayo po mga kapatid, I want you to understand that God doesn't change. But we must, uh, the change that will happen is the way we see God. 
Dapat habang tumatagal po tayo sa relasyon natin sa Panginoon, nagbabago ang tingin natin sa Diyos. Sasample lang ko po kayo. When you enter the church, when you have the cell group, ang gusto mo lang sa church, you want God to bless you, you want God to heal you, you want God to answer your prayers. Pero habang tumatagal ka sa relasyon mo sa Diyos, dapat nagbabago na. Hindi mo na gusto ang answered prayers. You want more of Him. That sometimes, ang tingin natin kay Lord, we want God to provide and He is our provider. And that's good. But ladies and gentlemen, dapat nag-change status na tayo from seeing God as the provider as now seeing God as your provision. Dapat iba yung you're my provider. Because when you said God is my provider, you are always asking for His hand. But when you see that you are my provision, it means ano man ang nasa akin ngayon, ikaw ang may bigay, ikaw ang may ari, ikaw ang nagpapahintulot, ikaw ang nagtatanggal. And I know that all of lahat ng nasa sa akin, ikaw ang magbibigay. Because you are not my resource, you are my source. Now, in this series, Change Status, there should be a change of mind kung sino ka. Look at your seatmate. No? Tingnan nyo, marami nang pinagbago ang Diyos. Kalahati na po ang taon, Agosto na. No? Agosto ka ba niya? Agosto ka. No? Natitignan nyo po, pero Agosto ba ni Lord kayong dalawa? Pero ang point lang natin, I want you to understand very carefully, dapat nagbabago ka. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, nag-change status ka na ba? <laughs> Now today, for us to understand change the status, let me just go now to a verse. Sabi ng scripture in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10, For we are what? God's masterpiece. And He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the things He planned for us long ago. The Bible says this is the declaration of God. Nga nung sinabi yan, declaration of scripture, that we are God's masterpiece. Everybody say, Masterpiece. Alam niyo po, pag sinabi pong masterpiece, ang ibig sabihin ng masterpiece, katulad po ng, ng, ng Mona Lisa, ang ibig sabihin po, nag-iisa lang yun. Di ba? Hindi pa pwedeng dalawa ang kopya ng Mona Lisa. Kasi pag dalawa ang kopya ng Mona Lisa, hindi na siya masterpiece. Now, the Bible is saying, you and I are God's masterpiece. Ano yun? Nag-iisa ka lang. Kaya kung ano ang nangyayari ngayon, I have a good news for you. Tangyo sa'yo ko ano? Ano man ang nangyayari sa'yo ngayon, pinepersonal ka ni Lord. But kapine personal because he is personally taking care of you. He is personally changing you. He is personally providing for you. He is personally holding you with his hands. That's why you and I are God's masterpiece. Kaya pag tinignan mo ang katabi mo, under construction pa. Kasi may ginagawa pa ang Diyos. At paganda ng paganda, paayos ng paayos, pasagana ng pasagana, pahusay ng pahusay, pataas ng pataas ang sitwasyon. Pag malaki mo nga yan sa katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, I am God's masterpiece. Are you listening to me? That's why we must be joyful and rejoicing and say, God, thank you. You are changing me and you are changing me. Ladies and gentlemen, Christianity is not being nice. It is being new. Christianity is not about being nice. It is being new. You can be in the church, nicey, nicey guy. You can be in a church, ang bait-bait mo. Pero pagkatapos mong umalis ng church, hindi ka na mabait. Because ang totoong Christiano is not being nice. Ang totoong Christiano, it is being new. Amen. Alam nyo, Bakit ba natin pinag-uusapan ng change the status and the topic about difference or different? Kasi gusto ni Lord maging different ka. No? Kaya sabi kanya ng verse natin that we are God's masterpiece. Ibig sabihin, wala kang kapareha, wala kang kamuka. Kung may ginagawa man ng Diyos sa'yo ngayon at pinababayaan niya mangyari sa'yo because He wanted you to be a message and a testimony na hindi kamuka ng sa iba. Kaya praise God sa mga pinagdadaanan mong strange, weirdo, pinagdadaanan mong hindi mo maintindihan, praise God, dahil may isinusulat si Lord na istorya na hindi istorya ng iba, ikaw lang ang may istorya because you are God's masterpiece. Are you listening to me? The question, are you different? Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, are you different? Pakisabi uli sa katabi mo, tatlong tao, I am different. Ladies and gentlemen, may dalawang uri ng kristyano sa mundong ito. Una, ang kristyanong kailangang i-encourage para maglingkod. Pero pangalawa, may isang kristyanong discourage pero naglilingkod. Mamili ka. Mamili ka. Ikaw ba yung number one na kailangang encourage para maglingkod? Kailangang dalawin para umatay ng church? 
Kailangan i-text, i-PM, kaya kailangan sabihin, paalalahan na pa, Sunday bukas, umaten ka, or ikaw yung taong discouraged na, may pinagdadaanan, may problema, ikaw yung taong, ang dami-dami ang bahay mo, lumulubog na, hindi pa umuulan, lumulubog na, but you are saying, I'm going to church, I'm going to serve God, I'm going to worship Him, I'm going to lift my hands. Ladies and gentlemen, kapag ikaw yung number two, then you are different. Are you listening? Pag malaki mo nga sa kataman, say, I am different. Pag sabi sa katabi mo, I am different. Dapat nag-change status ka na. No? Dapat nagbago na yung takbo mo. Kasi you can be in the church for 2,000 years. You can be in this church for the next 500 years. And look at yourself and look at us today. Na pareho pa rin ang buhay mo. Wala pa rin pinagbago. You've been attending this church for the past 11 years. Or 11 years. And you're still just attending the church for 11 years. Dapat kung umaaten ka na lang church, dapat ngayon may cell group ka naman. At least nag-change status. Wala kong kausap. At kung may cell group ka for the past 11 years or 5 years or 3 years, dapat ngayon nagbo-volunteer ka na. That's a change status. At kung hindi ka man, at kung ikaw man ay nagbo-volunteer na, mag-change ka ng status. Mag-life class ka, mag-encounter ka, mag-journey ka of discipleship. Why? Because I know every day dapat nag-change. Everybody say amen. No, tinan mo yung katabi mo sa mga kanya. Ini-expect kita magbabago ka ha. Ini-expect kita magbabago ka. God doesn't change, but the way we see him should change. Let's now look at the Bible. Let's now go to a two Bible characters as I pivot Mga kaibigan, as, as I give the introduction on change status, let's now go. Something happens when we encounter Jesus. Something happens kapag meron tayong relationship kay Lord. But ladies and gentlemen, kahit na may relationship tayo kay Lord, there should be a change of status para mas maabot natin ng another change na gustong gawin sa atin ng Diyos. At ladies and gentlemen, for this one whole month, I believe God will change your situation. God will change your finances, financial situation. God will change your relationship situation in your family. Pero meron tayong dapat gawin. At ang dapat nating gawin, we must go to God. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 17, verse 11 to 13, this is a story of wherein, uh, the story where Jesus met the ten lepers. Yung sampung tao na merong ketong. Let us now go there. Now, on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along Samaria and Galilee. And as he was entering a village, ten men with what? Leprosy. With what? Leprosy. Yung pong leprosy ay ketong. No? They stood at the distance, raised their voice and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. Meron po ba kayong napansin nakakaiba? Whenever people are crying to Jesus for help, for mercy, for answers prayer, for answer prayers, for healing, di ba right there and then, pumupunta siya, nilalay hands niya, kinukomand niya, pinapagaling niya. But this time kakaiba, yung sampung um, may leprosy o may ketong, sabi niya, hindi niya hinawakan, hindi niya, ni hindi niya nilalay hands, ni hindi niya kinuman yung ketong, ang sabi niya is go... You, Show yourself to the priest. No? Parang ito, pastor, magpapapray po ako sa inyo. O sige, pumunta ka sa doktor. Parang bigat, no? Pastor, magpapapray po ako sa inyo. O sige, pumunta ka sa doktor. Katan niyo po yun, Jesus did the same. No? Very strange. I will tell you why. Now, sabi po niya, and as they went along, they were cleansed. Look at the verse. Habang po sila ay naglalakad, something happened to them. They were cleansed. And then, then one of them, sampu po ito, no? Then one of them, when he saw that he was what? He was healed. Turn back. Everybody say, turn back. Turn back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell with his face to the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked him. Now, he was a Samaritan. By the way, this guy is a Samaritan. And you know the story quite well in the Bible. Yung mga Samaritan ay outcast. They are discriminated. They were discriminated. Sila po yung mga hindi tinatanggap ng lipunan. Ito pong, ito pong tao na to, hindi na nga tinatanggap ng lipunan yung lahi niya. Mga kapatid, may ketong pa. Doble-dobling parusa. No? Sabi ng iba, unfortunate. Sabi ng iba, malas. 
But ladies and gentlemen, look at what happened. He fell at Jesus' feet and worshipped Him. Then Jesus said, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the other nine? Was no one found to turn back and give praise to God except this foreigner? No, tinawag niyang foreigner because outcast nga itong Samaritan. And then said, then he said to the man, this is a very powerful statement and I know you need this. And those who are watching us live today, you need this. Then he said to the man, get up, go your way, your faith. The King James Version said, your faith has made you healed. Your faith has made you healed. Walang nagre-react ka. Your faith has made you healed. He never said, Your faith has made you healed. He never said that. He said, Because of your faith, that faith made you what? Whole. Now, I'm going to discuss that. Pare-pareho silang naka-encounter kay Jesus. Pare-pareho silang sumunod. Pero bakit yung iba na healed, pero itong isa naging whole? Now, for us to understand yung gravity, mga kapatid ng sakit na ito, ang sakit po na binanggit sa kanila, they, uh, they have leprosy. Everybody say leprosy. Yung pong leprosy, mga kapatid, ay ketong sa Tagalog. During the time in the Old Testament times and in the New Testament times, yung pong ketong considered a curse kapag may ketong ka. Pangalawa, ito po. Ang matindi pa sa ketong, ito. Hindi ka pepeding lumapit sa mga tao kung may ketong ka. Isang bahid lang ng malaman ng taong may ketong ka, hindi ka pwedeng lumapit. Pangalawa, no? Mga kapatid, ito pa. Pagka ikaw ay lalapit, o pupunta ka sa market, o pupunta ka sa kapitbahay mo, ito ang discrimination. Sisigaw po ang taong may ketong ng ganito. May ketong ako, may ketong ako, may ketong ako. Para yung mga tao, lalayuan ka. Grabe, no? Wala akong kausap dito. Yung katabi mo may putok lang eh, hindi mo malayuan eh. <laughs> Nandiyan, yan, ito talaga, yung pu- Sisigaw talaga sila, may ketong ako, may ketong ako, may ketong ako. Ang problema, eto ngayon, tanin niyo po sa ko ano, yung pong leprosy na to, sila po ay nakakalapit lamang sa templo. Pag nakakalapit lang sila sa high priest, hindi sila pwedeng lumapit sa ordinaryong tao. Kaya ganun po sila ka-outcast. And imagine these guys were living in leprosy. And let me give you, let me give you, let me steer your imagination first, no? Ang malalapong leprosy, hindi po ito yung parang skin disease na alam nyo eh. Ito po mga kapatid yung leprosy eh. Ganito po yung leprosy. Yan, yan po yung leprosy. Yan. No? Yung pong leprosy mga kapatid, habang lumalala po yan, you are not just naaagnas ang flesh mo, you are actually losing parts of your body. At imagine nyo po, kung nawala po yung daliri ng isang taong may ketong, ang maglilibing lang din po yung kapwa niyang may ketong. Imagine nyo kung na- naiwan po dyan na yung kamay. Hindi po hahawakan ng kahit sino yan kung ito po yung ketong. Ang tangi lang pong maglilibing, mga kapatid, yung parte na wala ay yung pong tao ding may ketong. No? Kaya ang tawag ko sa kanila, dapat nga ang pamagat ng ating preaching ngayon is The Walking Dead. Nakuha niyo po o kaya ay Jesus versus zombies. Yun sana ang aking gustong, yun sana ang gusto kong ano eh, ipa, ipamagat eh. Yung mga nagpo-computer, alam niya yan, tsaka na, 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 na diba? yung mga walang cellphone, bahala kayo sa buhay niya. Okay, now look at that. Now ito po yung gravity of this leprosy. These people lost their noses. Their, these people lost their fingers. They, these people lost their ears. They, these people lost parts of their, their, their body because of this leprosy. At alam niyo po, ito pang matindi. Tanyo po sa inyo ano? Lakas. Ito pong leprosy according to medicine. Pag po lumalala, yung pong nerve mo, ner- nerve system mo, tinatamaan. At hindi mo nararamdamang nasusugatan ka o natatanggal ka ng parte ng katawan. No? Now, ladies and gentlemen, leprosy, everybody say leprosy. Yung pong leprosy, mga kapatid, in the Bible was a symbol of sin. Okay? It is a symbol of sin. Ano po yun? na parang tayo, no? pansinin nyo po ito, habang gumagawa ka ng mali, namamanhid ka sa mali. Dati-rati, noong una kang humitit, 
yung pag humiti ka, oh, manid ka na, oh. Dati-dati, pag nagbukas ka ng porno, ay, oh, bad, 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 patay mo, patay mo. Ngayon, hindi. Wow. Pansin niyo po, sin will make you numb. Are you listening to me? Sin, leprosy, mamamanhid ka. Kaya pansin niyo po ang maraming tao. Pati lang maitaas ang kamay nila. Namamanhid sila sa kamalian at kasamaan. Kaya hindi nila maramdaman ng Diyos kahit kinakausap na sila. Wala akong kausap dito. Kahit na accidentally may problema ka, pagbukas mo, alas 12 ng gabi, 700 Club Asia. Tapos ang sabi pa ni Peter Kairos, ikaw na nanonood, kasi sabi mo, oh, kalokohan lang yan, <coughs> pinatay mo. Ano nangyari? Namamanhid ka because of this leprosy. But I want you to understand this, na nung panahon ng Old and New Testament, ang tao pong may leprosy, may cure. Paano po? They have to go to the priest. They have to go to the temple and to be anointed by the priest. In that way, they will be considered cleansed. Are you listening to me? Now, tinan niyo po, balikan natin ito. This is the gravity of their situation. Hindi po ito skin disease na had-had at galis-aso katulad ng meron sa katabi mo. Hindi po yun. Natitan niyo po, hindi po yun. Ito po ay matindi na uubos yan. Now, look at, the, look at the verse. Are you following me? Ito po ay magkaibang, parehong mga tao, pero magkaibang experience. This is what I, I, I've learned about Jesus and I've learned about church. We can be in the same church. But some people may encounter Jesus, some people may not. We may hear the same message. Some people will cry, some people will sleep. We may be in this church, worshiping and clapping. Some people will go to have a breakthrough, some people will go to have a blessing, some people will go out from this building, nothing. Why? Mga kapatid, because something is going on that God is requiring of us. Look at the verse. Sabi, balikan natin. And Jesus, sabi po nung sampo, sabi nung sampo, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When He saw them, He said, Go show yourself to the priest. Bakit hindi niya hinawakan? Nanditiri ba siya? Hindi. Kasi, Jesus is respecting the law. Because the law of Moses said, kapag may ketong ka at gusto mong maluminis, pumunta ka sa templo. Kaya ang sabi niya, Go, show yourselves to the priest. Ano po ang tinuturo nito? Number one, ang tinuturo niya, we cannot do what God will do. And God will not do what we must do. Ay, wala akong kausap. English. No? Hindi natin magagawa ang kayang gawin ng Diyos. Pero hindi gagawin ng Diyos ang kaya mong gawin. Sample. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, there is power. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, fats, get out. God will never take away your fats. Because you can exercise. Ay, wala akong kausap. Sample. Sabi ng estudyante, Panginoon, ipasama ko sa test. Ipasama ko sa test. In the name of Jesus, hurra ka ba, handa ka ba, tara ba ka. Ipasama ko, ipasama ko, ipasama ko. Panginoon, lang pala tayo po ako, buong puso, kalalawa. Hallelujah. Quoting the verse, for God's all of the world that He gave the answer to all my tests. You know, something like that. Eh, di ba? So, to I walk in the valley of the shadow of the exam of my professor, I will fear no evil because I don't know the answer. For you are with me. And you, you know, let it say, kung hindi ka nag-review, God will allow you to fail. Sa mabas, mataas ang sugar, mataas ang uric, mataas ang lahat, height mo lang ang hindi. And then you are saying, Oh God, heal me God. Heal me God. Oh God. Oh, pa, pupunta ka pa sa supernatural people na, na, na nagpapapray ka pa sa propeta, nagpapapray ka sa pastor, nagpapapray ka sa evangelist, sa ibang lihi, sa ibang galis, nagpapapray ka. I tell you, start having a good diet because God will never do what we are supposed to be doing. Wala akong kausap. Lord, baguhin mo asawa ko. Lord, baguhin mo asawa ko. Lord, baguhin mo siya. Pag hindi mo siya mabago, kunin mo na. Right now, in the name of Jesus. I declare right now, oh God. Sabi ng Bible, ang sabi ng Bible, to die is Christ is... Uh, uh, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Lord, let her die. Let him die. 
Hindi siya magbabago because God said, before your wife or your husband change, tayo muna ang mag-change. Ay, wala akong kausap dito. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, gusto mo mag-change status ang nasa paligid mo? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ha? ha? Sabi mo, gusto mo mag-change status sa paligid mo? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mag-change status ka muna. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bakit si Jesus, hindi niya hinawakan na, okay, 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 come here, come here, you leprosy people, you, you, uh, you, 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 you association of the leprosy people, you, 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 Yung blessing hindi babagsak ng todo. Ay, wala na akong kausap. Alimbawa, hindi ka kasal. No, tapos magsasama kayo, live in. Pray ka ng pray. Panginoon, ula ng pagpapala. Hindi ula ng pagpapala, ula lang. Because God will say in heaven, Hey, fix it! Lord, I declare today in the name of Jesus, ang lahat ng utang ko, ikakansela mo. Diyos ko! Lord, bayaran mo. <laughs> Nakakakita po ako ng ganyan mga nagpipreach, nagde-declare sila, bayaran mo utang namin. Sabi nila, ako ba ang nangutang at ako ang magbabayad? God, we cannot do what God will, cannot what we'll do, but God will never do what we should be doing in the first place. God will empower us to do something, but still you will move. Kaya kita nyo to ha, sabi ni Jesus Christ, go, 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 go to the priest, go to the priest. Parang ganito, Panginoon, atin akong church ngayon, gusto ko ma-bless. Paano hindi ka pa rin ma-bless, hindi mo nga tinataas kamay mo? Paano hindi ka ma- still ma-bless kahit nandiyan ka nakaupo ka, mga kapatid, eh, hindi ka nag-worship. Kasi, God is ready. Are you ready? Merong isang kinatatakutan ng panahon ni Kuya Jo. Sabi ng signboard, Jesus is coming. Are you ready? Mananakot pa eh, no? Dapat palitan yun eh. Jesus is ready. Are you coming? Diba dapat, handa na si Lord pagpalain ka. Handa na si Lord isave ang family, family mo. Handa na si Lord ayusin ang relasyon mo. Handa na si Lord tanggalin ang lahat ng crisis mo. Pero ang tanong ko sa'yo, ikaw ba handa ka ng sumunod and to change status from being stubborn, from being obedient? Come on, talk to me. You can hate me now. You can hate me now. Are you listening to me? Change status. Amen. Di ba pwede, Panginoon, tanggalin mo yung damdamin ko sa Kanya para hindi ako matukso. Lumayo ka! Lord, gusto ko pagkaharap ko siya, hindi ako, hindi ako natutukso. Hindi ako natutukso. Layas! Wala akong kausap. Lord, ayoko nang uminom. Ayoko nang minom. Meron ba tayo dyan? <laughs> Ayaw mo na manigarilyo ang kasama mo, puro parang tambucho ng motor? Layo! Lord, ayoko na mag-chismis. Ayoko na mag-chismis. Pero, uy, anong balita ngayon? Anong latest? <laughs> I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Get out! Because we cannot do what God will do. But God will never do what we should be doing and we must do. Amen. Kaya kita sabi ni Jesus, very weird, no? Sige, punta ka sa templo. Punta ka sa priest. Bakit? You know the law. Di ba? Huwag kang magpa-pray sa akin kung mataas ang kolesterol mo na after ng prayer, lalamon ka uli ng lechon. Wala akong kausap. Huwag kang magpa-pray sa akin, sabi ni Lord, na patawarin ng asawa, pero pag uwi mo, hindi mo naman siya babatiin. Ay, wala na akong kausap. Now, come on, you can hate me now. 
Huwag mo sabihin yung, Lord God, give me forgiveness, Lord. Lord God, forgive me. Tapos pati na, sample ako kayo, no? Ang dami natin magandang preaching na nagdaan, tama? Tama ba? Katulad yung, katulad last Sunday, yung challenge accepted about Judas. Diba? He was so close and yet so far. Tama? Punong-puno siya ng maskara. Tapos may binanggita ko sa inyo last Sunday, diba? Yung hindi nyo nayayakap sa matagal na panahon, nadinig mo yun eh. Diba? Tapos ayaw mong yakapin, pero nakikita mo, kakasarap mo mukha nito, ha? Nanonotan nyo. Pero nadinig mo na si Lord nung Sunday, hindi si Reggie yun, ha? Si Lord. Diba? Nadinig mo na. Pero anong ginagawa mo? Lord, na, na, Lord, sabi mo, you're make beautiful in your own time. Not this time. Pansinin mo, hindi ka na-healed, hindi ka na-restored, hindi ka naging whole. Are you following me? Hindi ka na-buo. Bakit? Because you're not following what God already said. And tinan nyo ang nangyari. Look at the verse. Sabi doon, And as they went along, kung ikaw yung sampo na may ketong, na balitaan mo si Jesus, the famous one, the healer one, tapos ang sabi sa'yo, punta kayo doon. Siguro sasabihin, eh, mali ang news, fake news. Pero sabi na, they obeyed, and they said, and as they went along, they were what? Cleansed. Imagine mo, wala pa sila sa templo, wala pa sila sa lugar, pero dahil sumunod sila, by the word, yung kumikilos pa lang sila, imagine with me, kumikilos sila, oh, uy, gaganda ko yung test ko, oh, oh. salamin dyan, salamin. Siguro kung may selfie na noon, imagine nyo po naglalakad sila pa lang papunta pa lang suddenly pang 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 oh yeah 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 oh 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 I'm healed man I'm healed now is that something to celebrate of course but there's a different person na nangyari sabi doon then one of them then yun yung isa sabi niya when he saw them that he was what he was what He was what? Healed. Turned back. Anong ginawa niya? He. Imagine niyo po ito ah. Yung sampu ba na healed? Come on, talk to me. Pero yung siyam nagmamadali siguro, nakauwi na sa asawa ko para may pagkata sa asawa ko. Hey, bebe, eto na ako. Galing na ako. Ito ah. But the only person, yung Samaritan, bumalik siya lang. At ang sabi doon, he was praising God. There was no record of the nine praising God. Probably they're so excited being healed. But there's no record of praising God. Only this one. At ang sabi yun, he turned back, praised God with a loud voice. He fell to his feet in the ground at Jesus' feet and thanked Him. He started worshiping God. Ladies and gentlemen, there is power in worship. You will never just receive healing. You will be made whole. There is power in worshiping the name of Jesus. You will not just receive financial blessing. God will give you financial freedom. There is power in really in in the name of Jesus in worshiping Him. He will not just only give you the peace of mind. He will make you whole. Ah, ayus niyang lahat. Pero hindi lang siya magayus ang situation, magayus niyang condition. Hindi lang siya magayus ang condition. Ah, ayus niyang lahat. At ang gusto ng ayus ni Lord, not just one, but making me whole. Are you listening to me? Are you getting this? Are you understanding this? Look at the Bible. Bible says. Then Jesus said, "We're not the ten cleansed. We are. Where are the other nine? Was no one found to turn back and give praise to God except this foreigner?" Then he said to the man, "Get up, go your way." After he worshipped Jesus, where your faith has made you. What? The word "whole" in the Greek is "sozo." S O Z O. It means complete, without lacking any parts. Oh, ito palang nangyari. Look at this. Yung sampo when Jesus said, "Go to the priest," to malikod sila, as habang sila ilumalakad, gumagaling sila. Tama? Pero yung isa bumalik, nagworship kay Jesus. Sabi ni Jesus, "You are whole." Anong kay bahan? Eto po yon. Natatanda niyo kaniyang picture na pinakita ko. Yung yung may ketong, wala nang daliri yun. Wala nang ilong yun. Nung gumaling sila, wala paling ilong yun. Gumaling lang yung ketong, pero wala pa rin ilong. Wala pa rin daliri. Wala pa rin tenga siguro. Pero yung isang na nag-worship, sabi ni Jesus, is making you whole. Ano yun? Imagine nyo to ha. Imagine me. Please, capture me in your imagination. 
Siguro itong, itong, itong may ketong na isa, no? nung mag, nag-worship siya, tinasayang kamay niya kay Jesus, naubos na yung isa, isa na lang eh. Suddenly, habang ng worship ka, thank you Lord, tung, 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 tung. Kung nakakaintindi kayo ng mutant, ito yun. Palitan ko kayo itong preaching itong pangalan to X-Men. Nakukuha niyo po, imagine niyo po habang sinasabi niya, Jesus, suddenly, the nose began to grow. Oh my God. Pinocchio is out of the picture. Hindi kikita ang pelikula ng Pinocchio. The nose began to grow. The ears began to sprout. Are nakukuha niyo po? The, the nails began to be brand new. And the Bible says, your faith has made you Ibig sabihin, as the he worship, yung daliri kung isa lang, pa 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 tumutubo, yung ilong, ta 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 instantly, pam! That's the power of worship. You will hear chains falling. Ay, hindi ako naintindihan. You will hear chains falling. When you worship God in spirit and in truth, when you worship God with all of your heart, when you lift your voice and your heart to Him, kahit ngayon, kaya niyang ayusin. Kahit ngayon, kaya niyang iligtas. Kahit ngayon, kaya kanyang pagalingin. And He wants to make you whole. That's different. Many people in the church, they want healing, but they don't want to be whole. Kaya maraming tao, pagkatapos gumaling, wala na ulit. Are you listening to me? Kaya maraming tao, pagkatapos mag-answer ng, ng answer si Lord ng prayers, hinahanap mo na, nasaan ka na Brad? Eh, bese. Bese ako nga eh, bese. Uy, huh? ka naman ng cell group. No time. Talagang tindi mo, wala kang oras. Magkaiba ba tayo? Ako 24 hours lang ako eh. Ikaw ba, 37? Are you listening to me? Kaya marami, kaya kita nyo, di ba, yung mga pinagaling ni Jesus, they shout Hosanna, they shout, I love you Jesus, they shout the Messiah, pero sila rin yung nag-shout at the end of the book of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, John, crucify him. Bakit? Because they saw Jesus as healer, they saw Jesus as the provider, but they never saw Jesus as the provision. They saw Jesus as master, but they never saw Jesus as Lord. They saw Jesus as God, but they never saw Jesus as Savior. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be in this church and still go to hell. You can still be in this church at pupunta ka sa impyerno pa rin. Why? Until you encounter Jesus. Until you have a personal relationship with Jesus. Until you will experience His love and grace of Jesus. You will never be whole. Kaya we are encouraging everybody, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, not to be at Rain M, not to be at any church, but to be with Jesus. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? Now, ladies and gentlemen, itong worship na to, I call... Uh, mara, ang mga praise and worship team, maraming kung ano ng mga worship sinasabi, merong um, uh, Zion worship. Yeah? But I call this uh, worship, I call it the leper's worship. Pagsamba namang may ketong, tinan mo nga yung katabi mo, tinan mo nga mukhang may ketong. The leper's worship, ano pa tong leper's worship why Jesus made him all? Taysay ko ano? He's not praising God for what he has done, but he's praising God for who he is. That's leper's worship. Nagpapasalamat siya, hindi dahil sa ginawa sa kanya, kundi nagpapasalamat ka kung sino siya. Mga kapatid, ang totoong worship, ang kaibahan ng worship at papuri ng palakpak at taas ng kamay at sayaw, ay nagpapasalamat ka dahil answer ang prayers mo, na-answer ang prayers mo, but that's it. Tatanungin kita, will you still worship Him even if hindi pa answered ang prayers mo? Will you still serve Him even if hindi ka pagaling? Will you still worship God even if hindi pa sumasagot ang Diyos for a very long time? Kaya mo pa bang maglingkod at sumamba kahit na discourage ka internally and externally? May pressure ka sa loob, may pressure ka sa labas. Kakayanin mo pa bang sumamba? Kapag gaya mo, ang tawag dyan, leper's worship. And Jesus said, because you worship me, your faith has made you whole. I'll be closing in 11 minutes. I have 11 minutes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the story. But there's another different story. In the Old Testament, there was a group of friends. No? Pangalan po ng magkakaibigan ito ay Bugax. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Ang mga pangalan po nila in the book of Daniel chapter 3 verse 14, sila po ay si Shadrach, 
si Mesa Katabrego, who are these guys anyway? I cannot even pronounce their name. Di ba? Si Shadrach, si Mesa, at si Abednego. They, these are not their real names. No? Ito po ay pinangalan sa kanila ng Babylonian uh, uh, emperor by the name of Nebuchadnezzar. And the story is this. Si Nebuchadnezzar, you know the story na pa sa Superbook. You know the story? Si Nebuchadnezzar, the king, nagtayo po siya ng napakataas na tore ng kanyang idolo. Because meron po siya, iniidolo niyang sarili niya at nabigay siya ng ganitong command. Lahat dapat, pagtunog ng drums, pagtunog ng keyboard, pagtunog ng trompeta, pagtunog ng tambourines, lahat ng tao in the kingdom, bang! Sasamba sa, 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 sa idolo na yon. And the Bible says, these three guys, these three friends, friends of Daniel, si Shadrach, Mesach, and Abednego, they were there because they were part of the advisors of the king. They never stooped down. They never worship. They never kneel. Kaya makita niyo po, among thousands, sila lang po yung nakatayo. And the law said, kapag hindi ka sumamba dun sa Diyos Diyosa ni Nebuchadnezzar, itatapong ka, mga kapatid, sa pur, uh, 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 furnace. Ano ba yung furnace? Sa pugon. No? Sa pugon ng apoy. Grabe. And look, look at this. Ginawa, I'll make the long story short. That's, I'm going to give you a verse. Nangyari, pinatawag yung tatlo. Sabi nila, you are, you are, you are, you are so stubborn, guys. Sabi niya, you worship my... Pag hindi ka nag-worship sa idol ko, sa bato na to, ginto pa nga eh. Sabi niya, <clears throat> yuhulog ko kayo sa apoy. Alam niyo ang sagot, alam niyo ang sagot ng tatlo? Tawin sa'yo ko ano? Lakas. This is a challenge to everybody. Sabi ng tatlo, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we will not worship your idol because my God in heaven will save me and will save us. Wow! That's faith. But there's another faith na sumunod. Anong sabi nun? But even if our God will not save us from the fire, we will still not worship your idol. Ang bagis nun. Parang ganito, alam ko, pagpapalain ako, pero hindi ako uurong maglingkod. That's faith. Pero kahit na dumating pa ang oras, walang pagpapala, maglilingkod pa rin ako. That's a different faith. Are you following me? Tanong ko sa'yo, nasaan ka dun sa dalawa? Sabi nun, di ba? Sabi na, we will not worship your idol because my God in heaven, the Almighty Yahweh, will save us from the fire. But even if, hindi kami isave ng aming Diyos. Hindi pa rin kami sasamba. Mga kapatid, hindi sila takot mamatay. Paano mo tatakuting patayin ang isang taong hindi takot mamatay? Kaya ka takot mamatay at takot kang patayin kasi takot kang mamatay. Wala kong kausap. Tinan mo yung katabi mo, takot ka bang mamatay? Ito mga taong to, hindi takot mamatay. Kaya yung bantana ni King Nebuchadnezzar, papatayin ko kayo and I'm going to throw you in the fire. And, papatayin ko kayo, I'm going to throw you to the fire. So, papatayin ko kayo, I'm going to throw you in the fire. Well, papatayin ko kayo, I'm going to throw you to the fire. Come again? Parang ganito, sabi ng circumstances ng demonyo, paghihirapin kita. Sabi mo, kristyano ka kasi. So, hindi sasagutin ng Diyos ang prayer mo. Eh, ano ngayon? Hindi ka pa magkakaroon ng pera. Ang business mo, pababagsakin ko. So, ba't ka ganyan? Sabi ng demonyo, kahit gabi mo pa yan sa akin, I will still serve my God and I will still worship Him. Ang tawag po doon, lepers, leprosy, worship. You are thanking God not because of what He has done. You are praising God because of who He is. At iyon po ay nagagawa lamang kung ikaw ay malalim ang relasyon mo sa Kanya. Kaya sabi mo, sa katabi mo, palalimo mo ng relasyon mo sa Diyos. Change status na tayo. Lalong nabuwisit si King Nebuchadnezzar at sinan yung sumunod na verse, then Nebuchadnezzar was furious. He was not angry. He was not at rage. He was furious. The, kaya yung pelikulang Fast and Furious, itong una. 
At ang sabi yun, he was furious with Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. I just me, I have six minutes left. And his attitude towards them changed. Nung una, pabor na pabor sila eh, si Nebuchadnezzar, but actually changed. He ordered the furnace. Ito pa matindi. Sobrang galit, heated, how many times? How many times? Seven times hotter than the usual. Pare! Ang init nito, pre! No? Sabi doon, than the usual. And commanded some of the strongest soldiers in his army to tie Shadrach, Mesach, at Abednego and throw them into the blazing furnace. Bakit tinali? Baka magwala. But the Bible says, hindi nagwala. Hindi ka takot mamatay eh. Paano mo tatakutin? Paano mo tatakutin ng isang single na hindi makapag-aasawa kung contento na siya na maging single kay Jesus forever? Paano mo tatakutin yun? Uy, tanda ka na, wala ka pang boyfriend. Dapat ang sagot mo, get the behind me, Satan. So, wala akong kausap. Uy, wala pa naliligaw sa'yo, may edad ka na. Eh, ano ngayon? Wala akong kausap. They tie up, they throw them, and throw them into the blazing furnace. And the king's command was so urgent, and the furnace was so hot, that the flames of the fire killed the soldiers who took up Sadrach, Mesach, and Abednego. Yung mismo nagbuhat sa kanila, dedo sa init, hindi pa tinatapon, namatay na. Ganun ka init, pre. Tatanungin kita, kung ikaw siguro si Sadrach, Mesach, Abednego, my God will save me from the fire, huh? but I will not worship your God, your idol. Tatali ko kayo! Tinali. Siguro ko ikaw yun, my God, will save me from the fire, but we will not worship your idol. Binubuhat ka na. Lord, binubuhat na kami. Do something right now, God. Make a miracle. Are you with me, God? Can you, siguro kung ikaw yun, di ba? Minsan na ito eh. Matates ang faith mo. Hindi pag malayo pa eh, pag malapit na. Wala akong kausap dito. Di ba? Yung bang alam mo ngayon na lalabas ang visa mo, tapos ngayon mo hinihintay, mas tense yun eh. Kesa yung 30 days, tagal pa, no? Wala akong kausap. Kaya mas intense ang faith, kapag on the spot, sinasabi ng nanay mo, huwag kang umaten. Mas intense ang faith nun. Kesa yung bukas, sasabihin sa'yo, sa linggo, ha, huwag kang aaten. Wala pa yun. Pero yung linggo, nakabihis ka na. Gumising ka, alas tres na madaling araw. Tapos saka ready ka na. Saan ka pupunta? Naku, ang faith nun, nantindi nun. Grabe. Yeah. Ito hindi. Ito, 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 ito tindi. No? Lord, binubuhat na po kami. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> yeah. Itong matindi. Yung nagbuhat, namatay. Tanong ko lang, kung namatay, hindi pa si tinatapon, sino nagpapunta sa kanila? Baka sila mismo gumapang. Okay, let's go to the fire. Di ba, di ba, di ba? Di ba? Ito, let's say, ito po yung furnace, na? No? Yung nagbuhat, di ba? Yung nagbuhat, malaki katawan. Si Carlo, si Pastor Sean, you know, the muscles man, yung mga bouncer natin sa church, yan po yung mga natatakutan eh. Bakit po? Kasi sasaksakin po kayo naman yan eh. You know, yung mga buto-buto nila. You know? Nagbubuhat po sila, buhat-buhat nila ganun, biglang bak, namatay sila sa init. Bagsak sila sa floor. Palagay nyo, paano nakarating yun sa fire? Akin lang tong imagination, wala kayo makita sa Bible na na. They would probably themselves voluntarily went to the fire. Wow! Wow. Ako lang excited. <laughs> That's different. Ko ikaw yon. Boom. Patay silang lahat. Sa tayo dito bisa mo nakakal sa tayo. King na matayo. Meron pa bang next? They, as far as I'm concerned, this is just my version. They probably went voluntarily to the fire and said this is the best time to prove that God is the true God of the heavens and the earth. Look at the next verse. Sabi na next verse. And these three men firmly tied fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement 
and ask these advisors. Nakita niya, nasusunog eh. Weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. And he said, hey, look, I see. I see four men walking through the fire, in the fire, unbound, unharmed. And the fourth looks like the son of the gods. Actually, ang nakita ni Nebuchadnezzar is the presence of Jesus, the presence of God. Sinamahan sila. Nung nandun sila sa fire, yung lahat ng tali na break, suddenly, chains fallen. Na fall yung chains. At ba din nila doon, they are walking in the furnace. I don't know kung anong pagchichikahan nila doon. I don't care. You know, they're working in the furnace. Sabi ni Nebuchadnezzar, di ba tato lang ang tinapo natin? Ba't yung isa kamukha ni Bobby? And then, ba't yung isa kamukha ni, ni Joe Akla? Ba't yung isa kamukha, you know, ba't yung isa kamukha ni Amiel? No, no, no. no. Sabi niya, no, no. It, looks like, it looks like a God. No. At ito ginawa ni Nebuchadnezzar. Now, bahay ko kuya, pangkinsin niyo mga kapatid ha? Kailan ka sasamahan ng Diyos? Sa labas ng apoy? Hindi, pag nasa apoy ka na. Kailan ka sasamahan ng Diyos? Though I walk in the valleys of the... Though I walk in the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. You are with me what? When? When I am now walking in the valleys of the shadows of death, that's the best time. Sumasama ang Diyos sa iyo. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, reign and people, do not be afraid of the fire. Do not be afraid of challenges. Bakit? Kasi sa panahon na yun, na nandun ka sa challenge, doon ka lalong sasamahan ng Diyos at makikita ng mga tagalabas how God is good, how God is faithful, how God is wonderful, and how God is powerful. Sabi doon, Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Cedrach, Mesa ka na benigo. Na iba na yung language, no? Servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. Sabi doon, and Sadrach and Abednego came out of the fire. Ba't yung isa hindi sumama? Wow. Ano ba't yung sumama yung isa? He's too hot to handle. Ay, hindi ako nantindihan. He is too hot to handle. That's a kasabihan. No? That's a, an expression. Ano sabi? Tindi. Lumabas yung tatlo. At ang sabi doon, and the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the real advisors crowded around them. Siguro, pare, pare, tayo ka doon. Siguro ganito eh. Sadrak, ikaw ba yan? Pare, ikaw ba yan? Pare, pare, pare. Ikaw ba yan, pare? Ikaw ba yan? Mayroon maging PA, no? Pare, ikaw ba yan, pare? Malaban sugat, pare. Kasi yung tali pare, nalutaw. Nagkaguluan sila eh. Kung may fans club na noon, yan yun. Natitahan nyo? Kung may fast and furious, yan yun. Ito yung una. Thank you. Ayun, crowd around them. Sorry. They saw that the fire had not harmed their bodies. Itong matindi mga kapatid. Ito, and I'll close. Nor was the hair, hair of their heads singed. Their robes were not scorched. Ni walang nasunog ni isang Split ends. At ang sabi nun, their robes were not scorched. At etong matindi, there was no smell of fire on them. Naka, meron ba kayong nakasakay sa LRT, sa MRT, sa bus, sa jeep, sa P2P, sa e-bike? Tapos sa ninigarilyo, di ba, pagkatapos nun, amumoy ka. Amoy sigarilyo ka na. Isang tao lang, dalawang tao lang nakasabay mo, amoy sigarilyo ka na. Ito, pumunta sa apoy. Pero sinamahan ng Diyos na may likha ng apoy. Sinamahan ng Diyos na kayang ikontrol ang apoy. Sabi doon, walang nasunog. That's good. Pero ang matindi, walang amoy. Ladies and gentlemen, look at Pastor Reggie. You are now going through tough times. Tama ba? Pag na-overcome mo yan at paglabas mo, walang bahid na parang galing ka doon. You are a different person. May pinagdadaanan ka ba ngayon? Daanan mo. Panghawakan mo ang salita ng Diyos, manapalataya ka at sumamba ka, leprosy worship. Paglabas mo, sabi ng mga tao, parang wala kang problema. Akala mo lang yun. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, akala mo lang yun. 
Nung pumunta kami ng Macau, two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, may isang lumapit sa akin, sabi sa akin, Pastor Reggie, mukhang hindi nagbabago ang mukha mo. Siguro wala kang problema. Sagot ko sa kanya, akala mo lang yun. Pero mga kapatid, hindi halata. Dahil nang galing na ako doon, kaya paglabas ko, walang amoy ng problema. Walang bahid na parang pinag, may pinagdaanan. Walang bahid na akala mo may sugat. Walang scars ng sugat. Because I have overcome it with worship. I have overcome it with relationship. I have overcome it with the power of the name of Jesus. And I'll close. When God fixed you in the place you're going through, you will come out not even look like what you've been through. Kapag inayos ka ng Diyos sa panahon na may nagdadaanan ka, lalabas ka. Iba. Parang walang bahid, walang mancha na parang pinagda- may pinagdaanan ka. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo at sabi mo sa kanya, akala mo lang wala akong pinagdadaanan. Sagot, sabi mo sa kanya, maraming marami. Pero hindi halata. Sabi sa kanya, pero hindi halata. Kasi tapos na. Let me close. This is Change Stars. Did you, did you enjoy our first series? Our first topic on Change Stars for you to understand. There was one magnificent building in Israel during the time of its glory. It's called the Solomon's Temple. When I was studying the Solomon's Temple last night, alam nyo, pag binasa nyo po ang book of Chronicles and book of First, no, Second Kings, you will see that Solomon never built the temple by his hands. No. Ginawa po niya because he was full of wisdom. He hired people, he got people to build the temple for him. Yun ang wisdom. Wisdom is not doing all things. Wisdom is getting things done through right people. Yun ang wisdom. Pag ikaw ang gagawa ng lahat, engot ka, mamamatay ka, kukunin ka ni Lord. No, huwag mong gawin lahat. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, hindi mo kaya, hindi ka superman. Do you understand this? And the Bible says in the book of 2 Kings, pagpasok nyo po sa templo, sa floor, the walls, they were all made of gold. We were in Macau, in Emperor Hotel. Yung pong floor doon, alam ito ni, ano eh, alam ito ni, ni Jude. Eh. Taga doon yan eh. Yung pong mga floor sa Emperor Hotel, may malaki-malaki po yan, mahahaba, may mga bars of ginto. Alam niyo yung mga tao doon, nagpapapicture doon, oh, tantuha sila, lumalakad sila sa ginto. Sabi pa nga isang kristyano, kahit di na ako sa langit, nakalakad na ako sa ginto. Sabi ko, salbahe ka ah. Sabi ko, ayoko. Ma- Pero tiles-tiles lang yon. Hindi, hindi talaga siya, no? hindi talaga siya, bul- but the Solomon's Temple was, look at me, Solomon's Temple was pure gold. Lahat, yung cup, lahat pure gold. Imagine mo, siguro, yung microphone, kung applicable to ngayon, this is gold. My clicker is gold. My teeth is gold. Pati siguro yung kuto mo, it's gold. Yung inuupuan mo is gold. If that will, will if, if that, we will apply today. According sa isang theologian at mga archaeologists na nagsama-sama, they found out that the value of the Solomon's Temple during the time, during the time, during the time, was actually about 100 billion dollars. During the time. So ngayon siguro, kung bubuhin uli yan, as is where is, siguro mga trillion of dollars. My question was this, where did Solomon got all the gold? Naghukay ba sila? Nakadiscover ba sila ng mina? Ng Yamashita treasure? No! When you go back in the first Samuel, second Samuel, first Kings, God commanded David, his father, sabi ni God, David, you're a man of war. Your hands are full of blood. You cannot build my temple. Your son Solomon will build the temple for me. Hindi mo pwedeng gawin yun kasi mamamatay tao ka because he was a warrior. But nevertheless, may sinabi si God kay David. Tarim sa'yo ko ano? Sabi niya, whenever you conquer a kingdom or the enemies, Philistines, the Hittites, the Jebusites, and all these ites, ites, ites in the Bible, sabi ni ng God sa kanila, get their golds. 
and put that on the tabernacle, ilapag mo sa harapan ng priest, and the priest will pray for it, and dedicate it, and it will be holy. Imagine mo yung gold na yun, galing sa kaaway, nilagay sa tabernacle during the time, pinagpray ng mga priest yung panahon ni David, at iyon nagiging banal na. And David was making war against all the enemies of Israel, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Philistines, and all of the other ites that even I can pronounce. Alam nyo po, this is what Solomon got. Ano yung pinanggawa niya ng gold sa templo? Yung lahat ng mga sinamsam, kinamkam, nilut, natalo ng kanyang tatay sa kalaban. Ginawa niya, nilusaw niya. At yun ang ginawa niyang overlay of pure gold ang lahat ng parte ng temple ni Solomon during that time. And I was wondering, tanyo sa'yo ko ano? Tanyo sa'yo ko ano? This is what Jesus did to us. He used your cruel lie. He will use your damaged emotion. He will use your broken relationship. He will make it holy. He will consecrate it and make it as a pure gold because He wants to build a temple. He wants to build a temple from your life. He wants to build a temple from your mistakes. He wants to build a testimony from your tests. He wants to build a message from your mess. He wants to build opportunities from your problems. That's why sasamahan ka niya sa lahat ng pagdadaanan mo. Pero ang tanong ko lang sa iyo, sasamba ka ba sa kanya? Will you worship God just like the leprous man. I will worship you not because you healed me. I will worship you because you are my God and my Lord. I will not worship you because you answered my prayers. I will worship you because I love you. Kapag ginawa mo yan, today, at the mention of Jesus' name, He will make you whole. What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ my King. What a powerful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus. We're going to worship God today. As you are worshiping Him with spirit and in truth, God will make you whole. Amen.